Hi everyone and welcome to our daily devotions for today, Saturday the 12th of December in the second week of Advent. We come to God now in prayer. Let's pray together. Eternal God, help us to know you now during this season of preparation, to love you now, to serve you now and to live each day as your people, seeking and honouring to fulfil your will. Open our hearts to the reality of your kingdom among us and teach us more of your way, so that in everything we do, in everything we think and in everything we say, we may work in order to help it grow. Bringing your purpose to fruition, learning from all you have done and will yet do. Help us to trust you in the present, consecrating each moment in faithful discipleship to the glory of your name. Amen. Two Thessalonians chapter 3 As for other matters, brothers and sisters, pray for us that the message of the Lord may spread rapidly and be honoured, just as it was with you. And pray that we may be delivered from wicked and evil people, for not everyone has faith. But the Lord is faithful, and he will strengthen you and protect you from the evil one. We have confidence in the Lord that you are doing and will continue to do the things we command. May the Lord direct your hearts into God's love and Christ's perseverance. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we command you, brothers and sisters, to keep away from every believer who is idle and disruptive and does not live according to the teaching you received from us. For you yourselves know how you ought to follow our example. We were not idle when we were with you, nor did we eat anyone's food without paying for it. On the contrary, we worked day and night, laboring and toiling, so that we would not be a burden to any of you. We did this not because we do not have the right to such help, but in order to offer ourselves as a model for you to imitate. For even when we were with you, we gave you this rule. The one who is unwilling to work shall not eat. We hear that some among you are idle and disruptive. They're not busy. They're busy bodies. Such people we command and urge in the Lord Jesus Christ to settle down and earn the food they eat. And as for you, brothers and sisters, never tire of doing what is good. Take special note of anyone who does not obey our instruction in this letter. Do not associate with them in order that they may feel ashamed. Yet do not regard them as an enemy, but warn them as you would a fellow believer. Now may the Lord of peace himself give you peace at all times and in every way. The Lord be with all of you. I, Paul, write this greeting in my own hand, which is the distinguishing mark in all my letters. This is how I write.
Psalm 46 God is our refuge and strength, an ever-present help in trouble. Therefore we will not fear, though the earth give way and the mountains fall into the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam and the mountains quake with their surging. There is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy place where the Most High dwells. God is within her. She will not fall. God will help her at break of day. Nations are in uproar. Kingdoms fall. He lifts his voice. The earth melts. The Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. Come and see what the Lord has done, the desolations he has brought on the earth. He makes wars cease to the ends of the earth. He breaks the bow and shatters the spear. He burns the shields with fire. He says, Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. We come now to our closing prayer for today. Let's pray together. Living God, you challenge us to go the extra mile, to do more than anyone can ask or expect of us. Forgive us that we find that so hard that we prefer to do as little as possible rather than as much, that we give our help, our time, our service and our money so grudgingly rather than cheerfully. We praise you for the readiness of Christ to go not just the extra mile, but to give us his all, identifying himself with our human condition, willingly experiencing suffering and death, so that we might discover life in all its fullness. We praise you for those who have followed in his footsteps, willing to go beyond the call of duty in the service of others. Touch our hearts with their example and inspire us through the love of Christ so that we may be ready to do that little bit extra, to go beyond people's expectations, to give as you have freely given to us. In the name of Christ, we ask it. Amen.